Hi there, this is Paul with another video today of Justin Bieber's Love Yourself. Someone requested me to do it, so I thought, yeah, why not do a quick video of the song. The song consists of three parts. The verse part, it's higher up the neck, the pre-chorus and the chorus. Okay, let's start with the verse. It's higher up the neck, as I told you. In this part, you only play two notes. You start off with your index finger on the seventh fret on the fifth string. That's your root note, it's in E, E major. And then you play the third note, which is fret number nine on the second string. This chord is in E, but we do something to spice it up. We do a hammer on from fret seven to fret nine. So you hammer with your pinky. And I hit the strings with my thumb and my middle finger. And then I do a slap, a soft slap, somewhere on the sixth or the fifth or the fourth string. And then I move down when my index to fret six and my ring finger to fret number seven, both at the fifth and the second string again, so the five. Those I fret my index and my ring finger, remember that. And then I slide down two more frets to the C sharp minor. This chord is called a B, but it's an inversion. It's the first inversion of B. Then C sharp minor, fret four and fret five. Then up to F sharp minor on fret 9 and my ring finger on fret 10. Again on the 5th and the 2nd string. Same slap. Okay, um, what you need to do, you first did the 5th and the 2nd string, but the last note is only the 2nd string. Pluck the string. And then a slap. And you want to release the finger in order to stop the note. And then you slap it. So the chords of the second part are F sharp minor, E, and B, first inversion. The pre-chorus is played with power chords, and a power chord is this. So, the first chord is a C sharp minor. And I pluck it with my thumb, index and middle on the fifth, the fourth and the third string. And then we go to the A power chord, which is... So we just fret the two on the fourth string and the two on the third string. The same three three strings, the fifth, the fourth, and the third. You can play it with your index or with your index and your middle finger. And then you move one string up to E. So it's C sharp. The second part of the pre-chorus is just slightly different. You play C sharp, A, E, B, and the B is fifth string index on the fret two, ring finger on fret four, and pinky on fret four as well. And you play the fifth, the fourth, and the third string. So it's Second time, you just play the, the B in the second bar and you omit the E chord. So it's to make it sound edgy, you can slide up from the A to B.
after the chorus. In the chorus we mostly play the same chords, E, B, C sharp and A, but we change the order just a little bit. It starts on an E, E, B, C sharp, A. So in the chorus we start on an E, B. This is the rhythm. The second part is C sharp and then A. So it's the second part of the chorus is played with an E, an A, and we can play an A at 9 to make it sound a little bit more alive. So you play it with your index finger flat on fret 2 of string 4, 3 and 2 and your ring finger can fret the 4th fret on string 2. And that is the whole song. So it's a nice guitar part to play, just not that hard. I wish you all the best. Good luck playing the song. If you've got questions leave them in the comment section below. I probably can help you. Maybe not. Really try to learn the power chords because you will see them a lot in pop music and rock music as well. Um, yeah, pretty regular thing you see. So really check it out. Power chords. C sharp, B, A and E. If you've got remarks or tips for other songs I should show you, please let me know. Maybe I can do them. Um, see you next time. Bye bye. Have a nice day.